was successful in every sport that I, that I uh, uh, was in in high school. Uh, the team sports were special. The individual sports were special. I'd like to do both. Uh, you know, the, some people don't like the individual sports, uh, but I found it was a nice change. You didn't have to uh, de de depend on anybody else. So uh, the mix of track and field and football, even when I played football, was, was a good combination. But in 72, when I won the Olympic trials for the 400 hurdles, that was a special moment for me. Uh, uh, we ran the race in the morning, the qualifying, and. Uh, and I was new to this event because I was a, a triple jumper when I went to Brigham Young University. So coming back uh, from there with a, with a bad knee, my coach and I devised a running program. Well, that running program ended up uh, making me an Olympic, uh, a Canadian Olympic trials champion for the 400 hurdles. In any team sport, you have to play as a team. And, uh, and that's the job of the coach, the head coach. And that's whether it's uh, Ray Yock or Hugh Campbell. Uh, you get uh, good quality players and you, you form them and put them in situations. You have good coaches uh, and, uh, and then you, you, you live or die as a family, if you know what I'm saying. So, so that was our attitude in those days. And uh, it's not that uh, people weren't better than us. It's just that, uh, you, know, you know, 12 players at a time on offense and on defense and then on special teams came together and uh, worked with each other and, and we had great leadership in the room too. I mean when you have guys like you know Cutler and Wilkinson and, and, and Bruce Lemmerman and Dan Kepley and uh, the, list, the list goes on. We had good Canadians, good Americans and uh, they were all there for the, for the same reason you know. A lot of them had tried out for other teams in fact and did not make them so they had something to prove and, uh, and everything seemed to uh, seem to come together and uh, it doesn't always happen that way you know it just I remember playing against Toronto. They had some great individual players uh, uh, then, and they brought them in from the States. And uh, the, things just didn't work out because the, the players were playing for themselves. So uh, in Edmonton, the attitude was, you know, we win together, we lose together. And uh, after a while, you start believing in it when, when and the coaches, you know, drum that into you. So it was, it was a real good attitude. The attitude was excellent there. And I still remember some situations where uh, Stuart Lang and I uh, end up sharing the position. Uh, Coach Farragelli came up to us and and, uh, and says, "Well, uh, you know, we're going to play this way, you know, in preseason." And then, and when the season started, he switched us into different positions, and uh, and then we were waiting for him to say, "Well, you start or you start." And and he he didn't say that. And he says, "Well, Coach, who do you want to start?" He says, "You guys figure it out." Now, now think about that. You know, we're. we're Two good receivers, we both want to play, and we sat down and looked at each other and we talked about it and say, well, tell you what, you start this game, and then we'll rotate every, every series, and then next game you start, and we'll rotate. And it worked out really well. I think uh, he ended up with 25 catches that season, and I ended up with 24. And uh, we both got to play, you know, rather than one sitting on the sidelines. And so I found that rather special. And it's kind of tough uh, on a quarterback because you have two separate individuals with two separate styles. But uh, uh, we did okay that year in, in that regard. So to me, that was probably more special than, than any game that I played in the CFL. It's special in a way that uh, I was part of a team there. Uh, the Alberta Sports uh, Hall of Fame, we've, we've been through it several times. We've watched quite a few inductions in there. And, and people have made uh, large commitments uh, in Alberta sport. And uh, yeah, it's nice to see the teams from, from our era uh, being recognized. And uh, uh, because we had some great teams, we made our marks in, marks in history. So it was, uh, I was very fortunate to be, uh, like I said, a track athlete that played football in the right place at the right time. And we had some great coaches and, and, and great uh, uh, athletes beside us. And so it, it was pretty special to in Edmonton in those seven years that I was there.